Yo, what's good? I've been trying Solna meme coins for the past few months, using web chatting platform called Bullux, made around 15k in the past months, and recently I got a lot of people asking me what's my Bullux settings and how to set them up. So in this video I'm gonna tell you what is priority fee, slippage, map protection, how does it work, and which amounts you should use. Okay, so to see which settings you are using to trade with, open any coin, and here you'll be able to see your settings. You can click on it, here it says order settings, so these are the settings you are using to buy and sell your coins. Also the same settings apply when you press quick buy button. So first let's talk about priority fee. You can think of priority fee as a tip to the blockchain validator. When you press buy button, your transaction is not approved yet. You send your transaction to the Solana blockchain. But as you could see, you're not buying instantly, because it takes some time for validators to approve your transaction. And priority fee is how much you tip to the validators. Let's imagine you're ordering a food from a DoorDash. And you have two options. Tip delivery guy 1 bucks and you'll get your food in 2 hours. Or tip him 10 bucks and you'll get it in 30 minutes. So it's really similar with priority fees. If you put really high, like 0.1, your transaction will be approved instantly. Because validator approves transactions from the highest fee to the lowest. So if you press the buy button at the same time with other 10 people, your transaction that's gonna be approved will be with the highest priority fee. Most of the times, I use between 0.0015 to 0.01. It depends on the volume. If there is low volume, you can put it lower. But if there is high volume and it takes too much time for your transaction to get approved, put your priority fees higher. The same way it works with the sell settings. Now let's talk about slippage. With coins that are on Pumpfan and haven't graduated yet, it works like this. Let's say you wanted to buy 4.4 mil flow tokens at 46k market cap for one sold and you have your slippage set to 10%. You press buy button and when it's confirmed, you see that you bought the same amount of tokens but for 1.1 sold. It could happen because the price of the coin went 10% up while your transaction was being approved. So in this case, you just experienced a slippage of 10%. But if you had the same 10% slippage and the price went 20% up while the transaction was being approved, the transaction would have failed, as this price change was above your slippage setting of 10%. But be careful using high slippage limit on buy settings without map protection, because you're gonna get mapped and lose money for no reason. But before talking about map protection, let me explain to you sell slippage. So sell slippage works in two directions. Let's imagine I have one soul in this coin right now and I wanna sell 100%. I press sell button and while my transaction is being approved by a validator, let's imagine the price went down 10%. So the moment my transaction gets approved, I'm gonna sell not for one soul, but for 0.9. Because the price went down 10%, I had 10% slippage, so my transaction got filled. If the price went 20% down, my transaction would fail. It also works if the price goes up. So I press sell button at 48k, price went up 10%, and instead of one soul, I sold for 1.1. But if the price went up 50%, let's say someone ate like 10 sol, with 10% slippage, my sell transaction would have failed. I always use 30% to make sure my transaction goes through when I need to exit quickly for example. Now let's talk about the most confusing part for beginners, mail protection and bribe fee. So what is mail protection and how does it work? As you remember, I told you before that every transaction you send gets approved by a validator. But if you're not using mail protection, you're sending your transactions to public validators. It means everyone can see your transaction on a blockchain, even if it's not approved yet. So nowadays, there are many mail bots. They monitor public validators for unapproved transactions to front run them and make profit. They look for transactions with high slippage, and what they do is buy a huge amount right before your transaction approves and selling right after. As you can see, after this sell, the market cap was like 66k, and this 0.5 buyer was supposed to get 66k entry, but he had like 20% slippage with mail protection off, so he got mapped. As you can see this map bot bought 8.75 sold before his transaction and sold right on top of him. It shows that he sold before but Bullox is just bugging. So this wallet lost 20%. And right here we can see the scandal. He was supposed to buy right here, but he got filled at 83k because of the map bot. So if you want to use high slippage and be safe with your entries, I recommend you to use map protection. What map protection does is it sends your transaction to a private validator. And mailbots can't monitor private validators. So sometimes, if I start getting mapped even with low percentage, I put my mail protection on. And with mail protection comes the bribe fee. 
you can't use mail protection without bribe fee because your transaction won't go through. Bribe is the same as priority fee. You just pay priority fee to public validator and you pay bribe to Jitter Labs validator. Jitter is the name of the private validator. Also, a lot of people were asking me, do you pay these fees that are at the top right corner? And the answer is no. These are just the fees Bullux recommends you to use at the moment. You can see the bribe fee here and you'll notice that it changes every minute. It depends on the sole network congestion, so if it's really congested and you have crazy volume, you'll need to put your fees higher. Usually I use 0.005 or more if my transactions are not getting filled. And by the way, I never seen someone getting mailed on cells, me neither, so I never use mail protection on cells. And make sure to put zero bribe if mail protection is off. Alright, that's basically everything you need to know about Bullock settings and how to set them up. I hope you found this video helpful. Also don't forget that I'm live streaming my one soul to one mil challenge on Twitch. I'll be happy to see you there. And as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.